Now to our other top story. An iconic restaurant in Pearl City has been closed since Sunday, and it's because of a roach infestation at Buzz's original steakhouse. Sarah Madison spoke with the health department and joins us now with more. Sarah. Marissa, a complaint was made to the health department two weeks ago. The restaurant tried to take care of the roach infestation on its own by calling a pest control company. But the state says they did not pass inspection and issued a red placard. In the food inspection report, it says roaches were found throughout Buzz's original steakhouse at different stages of growth. The report says roaches were active and walking on food contact surfaces of equipment and utensils. The state also observed roaches in the dining area's furniture and carpet. When we called the restaurant, we were told they were closed because of plumbing issues. The state also noted that the plumbing system was not properly repaired or maintained and found several pipes leaking. Well, roach infestations can come from a lot of different things, right? So let's say you own a restaurant and you have leaking plumbing, and let's say one side of a wall is always wet. That's one thing that always attracts roaches and rodents. The restaurant has made repairs to plumbing, but in the state's report, it says more pipes need to be replaced and the infestation might be under the building. Typically, roach infestations do not lead directly to foodborne illnesses, but because roaches and rodents are an indication of how well um, they have sanitary controls at the facility, we will close them down if there's an infestation. Yeah. Aside from the roach infestation, the state reported each hand-washing sink had no paper towels or drying devices, and some food items were not protected from cross-contamination. Once we issue a red placard, we have no time frame correction because the public is protected by the establishment being closed. And Sarah, I have a question. How come I didn't see any red placard in the video? We didn't see one either, and we called the health department about it. Typically, businesses are supposed to have that posted for the public to see. Peter Oshiro told me he was going to look into that tomorrow. And I also want to mention that buzzes in Lanikai is not affected. Marissa.